Hey everyone, this is Barry the Beer Guy, broadcasting live from the small agricultural community known as Dodge Center, Minnesota. It's the center of Dodge County, and you can see the beautiful fall colors today. I'm at my dad's house taking care of him as my mom had a fall. She'll be sprung from the joint tomorrow. We're going to go down and get her, but I've got a beer story for you. Ready? Here we go. See this magazine? NABA, National Association of Bruriana Advertising. You should consider becoming a member. This month or this quarter, it's 80 pages full of chalk beer stuff. Here comes my dad pulling the driveway. But there's a story in here about my high school guidance counselor. He brought my dad a beer sign, oh, maybe two months ago. When my dad called me, I thought it was from a mega brewer like Budweiser, Miller, maybe from the 90s, plastic, light up. It wasn't. It was from the Montgomery Brewing Company. It was early 40s, made of metal and glass. One of two examples known. The whole story's in that magazine. You should be a member. But you want to know what else he gave me when I dropped off a copy of that magazine at his house to thank him for his generosity, of which he would not accept payment. I brought him the magazine article, and he said, Do you collect other beer signs? Okay. Now, these were nothing special. But I've got to show you. Look at that. Blatt's light up probably 80s not very valuable but it's a thought that counts the second one schmidt beer plastic formed with dust g heileman area <laughs> era 1980s but the coolest thing he gave me was his mom did not drink a drop in her life she did not smoke a puff anything she was a teetotaler but at a Halloween party, when everyone was wearing masks and disguised at the Zumbrota Minnesota VFW, somebody came up and gave her a beer. She didn't drink, but she kept the beer. She didn't open it, she kept the beer. How weird is that? So over all these decades, 60 years or so, well, it had to be the 40s, longer than that. I'm not good at math. She kept the beer. Look at the neck label. War bonds from the 40s. From Flex Brewing Company in Faribault, Minnesota, aged in caves. These later became blue cheese caves. But a full bottle of Flex beer with carbonation in it. So that's from the same guy that gave me the sign from Montgomery. Pretty cool story, huh? Thought I'd share it with you. Thanks for subscribing to this channel. Barry the Beer Guy from I Buy Old Beer with a beer story for you. Have a good one.